Uh, hi, this is Event Tutorial, and uh, uh, I already made our HTML documents markup, so we can st uh, get into Event straight away. So uh, I have four divs, and uh, I have assigned some styles also to the to, uh, to these divs, and uh, on the page it looks like this. So we have four divs, and we will um, capture events on these divs. So what is an event by the way? Event is a uh, user actions performed on your web page. You can capture it and you can then uh, do some action uh, in return. So like when uh, I click on certain element like on this div one, you can capture it and y if you want to change its color or what, do whatever you want to delete it, you can uh, you can do it using the JavaScript uh, DOM API. So, how to uh, do the uh, how to assign even uh, events to your element? Uh, actually, it is not called event; it is called event handler. So, event handler is anything that uh, is done in return of the user action. So, like I said, when we click, if you want to change the color of this div, that will be uh, done by the event handler. So, what is an event handler? event uh, there are certain events let's talk about them we have the click event th we have mouse over event which occurs when I put my mouse over and mouse out uh, occurs when uh, my mouse uh, goes off the element so these are uh, three basic events that we are going to discuss in this tutorial and uh, uh, we will also going to um, discuss how, uh, how to handle the event object so click is an event and uh, you have to write on before any event uh, that means you are signing an event handler so event handler can be a function a method or it can be a uh, can be straight away JavaScript code uh, so like alert I can also alert hi you clicked on dev on and uh, if I save and refresh our page and when I click on it uh, JavaScript pop-up will uh, come on the screen and uh, the message is displayed whatever we want it uh, to, uh, to be so this can also be methods and uh, functions and uh, uh, let's say we want our method change or let's discuss the, this uh, keyword in JavaScript in this scope so on clicks uh, click is a property of uh, this div so when I write this this means the parent uh, the parent of this scope uh, uh, the uh, uh, this properties parent which will be the div element so you can access the div uh, where the event occurred through this so you can change the color or delete it or do whatever you want with it so let's say we I want to change its color this dot style dot background color background color this will be camel case as you're writing styles in JavaScript I want it to be suppose black if I save it and refresh now when I click on it it will change its color so you can do all the fun stuff with this uh, events it make your web page very interactive so uh, we have seen the this keyword let's uh, uh, let's assign a, a, a method or a function um, okay change color and we want it to be black how to assign methods and handle the events inside the functions or methods so function change color and uh, uh, what is it you want it to be black you can also uh, pass the uh, this keyword which will uh, pass uh, the div uh, or the HTML object 
which will be our div element or you can also pass the event object event object is uh, very um, helpful uh, when you are dealing with uh, events in HTML so uh, color comma eve event and uh, so let's uh, see how we can use the event object which is the second argument so uh, event uh, object uh, uh, using the event object you can get the target div where the event occurred you can uh, also get the mouse positions uh, where was the mouse when user clicked uh, and uh, you can get a whole a lot of things that uh, I will put a link to a site that uh, has really well uh, uh, documented event uh, help you can use it to uh, do stuff with the event object but for basics let's say we want the target div this div how to get it using the event object so event dot target will give you that target uh, the div where the event occurred or eve dot source element src element so why used two of them this is for ie and it will only work in ie uh, on the other hand this is for uh, this is the w3c i guess which works in firefox and uh, chrome and safari and stuff so uh, you have to use both of them if you want to if you will be work uh, targeting um, not only uh, IE or Firefox so this is the this is compatible with all <coughs> browsers or is actually <coughs> used because anything which is true will be returned so if even though target is true that will be returned or um, if this is true this will be returned so we get the target element we can change the style not background color background color cool color so this will hopefully work refresh and it worked so <coughs> this is how you assign uh, functions to your event handler <laughs> you can also assign event handlers in JavaScript uh, we will see in our next tutorial and let's do the uh, few more events like on on cl uh, click was the, uh, the first one let's do the mouse over and uh, also mouse out so I'm just going to copy paste it and change a few things <coughs> control V and um, we want it to turn to green again R -E -N on mouse out so when the user will put the uh, mouse on the div on mouse out save when the user will put the uh, uh, the mouse on the div it will ch turn black and when we will get our mouse out of that div it will turn green so that will give a nice hover effect so uh, let's uh, copy paste all of these in our all and hopefully this will also work inshallah so refresh and uh, it works so these uh, are the click mouse over and mouse out events and in the next tutorial uh, we will see how to assign event handlers through javascript inside javascript instead of writing them in the html so uh, that's it from this tutorial watch my next tutorial to uh, see uh, how to assign events through JavaScript uh, event handlers sorry thank you for watching and do comment and rate